Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. One of the inter interesting topics in Mathematics N1 is this topic called the mensuration of plane shapes which deals with area with volume with perimeter as well as uh, another word is there is circumference of some shapes and it usually uh, involves some questions that can become um, sometimes a bit interesting whereby you need to analyze them carefully before you answer them because if you do not analyze them you might actually answer them wrongly but if you properly analyze them it is one of the areas that you can uh, grab some good marks now i've provided you with some example of a question that can be of interest to you so that you can practice as you prepare for your mathematics n1 exam now this particular question says a foofy slide uh a foofy slide okay let's read that what is a foofy slide i also don't know but let me read that. It says a foofy slide is built above a river. Okay, this is kind of some story. And then it says a 150 meters cable is stretched tightly between the launch point and the water. Horizontally, the right is 100 meters long. How high above the water is the launch pad point? Make a sketch of the problem. Now let's read again. It says a foofy slide is built above the river. I think this kind of a thing is like that swing. Now I get I get the picture like you know whenever you are in um in some hiking kind of some sporting activity or some some vacation whereby you uh sling on this kind of a slide so it's a foofy slide whereby you are slinging and falling into the river i think you've seen something like that so he says oh you have actually uh you have done it in your vacations when you are uh, having a vacation he says a foofy slide is built above a river so now they need they need us to sketch so let's say this is kind of a river so there is the water in the river now the water actually you, you do not have yellow water you have got blue water so so there is the water there if i can actually use this as the water All right, so this is what you're having. There is your, your 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 water there, in this case. So it says, a foofy slide is built above the river. So what you're having is, you're having something there. In this case, let's say I've got something that is built there. Whatever it is. So it's built above a river and then it says a hundred and fifty a uh, hundred and fifty cable is stretched tightly between the launch pad so this is our launch pad this is the launch point and the water so it's 150 meter cable so and then it says it's stretched tightly so that word tightly there it means it is straight so i can have then the cable there is a cable that is coming from this whatever foofy slide 
it is stretched tightly I mean you have to land in the center there so this is my cable in this case this is the cable and then it says is it between the launch point and the water so as you saw I mean this is clear that this is water and then it says horizontally the right is 100 meters long so if they say horizontally it means a line like this if it's a horizontal line there will be meaning something like that horizontally the high right that's the horizontal part and they are saying this particular right in this horizontal line it is 100 meters long so they are saying it is 100 meters there remember this uh, cable is 150 there meters so now the question is 100 meters long is this horizontal right so let's say you are moving from this full face light horizontally is 100 meters long how high above the water is the launch point so now they are saying what is this particular distance let's say you are jumping so they want to find this particular distance in this case how high you can see that so they want to say how um how high is so they are saying how high above the water is the launch point so this is the launch point i can actually even draw this line as saying this is my launch point from here and then how high above the water is that point so this particular distance is the same as so if this is x so that will be the x so this is the kind of scenario that i'm getting um the diagram that i'm having so now with this diagram i can actually can see that this is more like um a right angle triangle because they say how high above the water so they are trying to they are saying to you this is a right angle triangle like this like that like that that's what they are uh, trying to bring to your attention in which case it is a 90 degrees there so they want you to find this x they have given you that this is 150 meters and they have given you that this is 100 meters so do you see that with this they can actually uh, bring questions that are practical and you have to apply mathematics in this case now because of this right angle triangle we're going to use the theorem of pythagoras that's what they are trying to catch you there pythagoras now what does pythagoras say it says the longest side we will call this longest side r it says r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared now the longest side in this case is 150 meters squared is equal to x squared the one we want to calculate plus 100 uh, squared we already have 100 now with that i can now take this 100 squared must jump the equal sign to join um, the other 150 squared so it will change from positive to negative so it will be minus 100 squared therefore it is equal to x squared so the next part is to solve that part which is 150 squared minus 100 squared my answer becomes 12,000 500 so this is equal to x squared now when i've done that remember i can therefore rewrite this as say x squared is equal to 12500 now for me to find x i must square root this side what i do on the left i do on the right therefore my x will be equal to it will be now square root of that which will be 
in this case square root of 12,500 and I'm getting 50 root 5 press SD it is 111.803 that is to three decimal places which is triple 1.803 Now, my units there, remember it is meters. So, which means the question is how high above the water is the launch point? Then, so you say, you can say launch point is 111.803 above water. So this is now the final answer in that. Now they say sketch, you can you have used that sketch, but um, I hope uh, you can, you have used such foofy slides or foofy, they call it what? Let me see again the word, a foofy slide, that's the name. I, I hope you have also used a foofy slide or you'll use it in one of your vacations and you will remember this kind of a question whereby mathematics was applied to know how high you are going to be uh, if you had to fall from this particular top so let's say it was you here and you're jumping so you see you're going to jump all the way to go and boop, dip in there but if you are sliding this direction i think it's interesting to slide because it's not as fast as you're dropping directly up the water now i hope this was of benefit to you thank you I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you